Hello, I'm Kevin Sumption, the Director and CEO of the Australian National Maritime Museum. And I'm speaking to you from inside our beautiful Warship Pavilion here in Darling Harbour at the museum. But while our doors may be closed for the time being, we've been hard at work developing ways that we can continue to share Australia's story of the sea with you. We recently held the first virtual edition of our popular Ocean Talk series, Cook, Man or Myth, and over a thousand people from around the world tuned in. We'll be bringing more of these lively discussions to you very soon. I know many families took part in our virtual school holiday program designed to prompt children's curiosity in maritime history, science and archaeology. I believe there are also quite a few families who enjoyed the craft activities that we've been placing online, baking pirate cookies and cakes, doing virtual tours of the vessels, as well as playing some wonderful games that we have on our website, and my particular favourite, The Voyage, which is based on real convict voyages. Please go to sea.museum where you'll find all these fabulous resources and also stories about the artefacts in our collection, as well as learn more about archaeology, stories of the sea and the science of the sea. We've also launched a series of virtual tours. The first of these, Elysium Arctic, features the work of the award-winning photographer Michael Oo, and he is accompanied by the well-renowned oceanographer Sylvia Earle. With the sea at the centre of everything we do, the museum's been strongly committed to ocean science and protection, and this particular exhibition records the devastating impact of climate change on the Arctic. On a lighter note, for those of you who want to walk, talk or sing like a pirate, please join our pirate school. Our resident pirate captain, Grog Nose Johnny, takes classes on the museum's luxury yacht, Ina. And for me hearties in the family, especially aged between three and eight years old, it's a fantastic experience. In the meantime, do stay in touch by joining our mailing lists or following us on social media. I look forward to you visiting us at sea.museum. Please stay safe and enjoy our stories of the sea at home.